After destroying the countryside, when the flood came into the city, it destroyed our city. You've seen people are displaced. They don't have homes, they don't have the facilities, they don't have access to medication. There's a lot of destructions, poor, miserable conditions. I can't explain it. Unprecedented monsoon rains in northern Pakistan have been going since early August. This is the worst rainfall in the history of this nation. The Indus River has been overflowing. Those floods have affected 20 million people, leaving 4 million homeless and destroying over a million homes. The level of the water is 7 feet and the water stayed here at the 7 feet level near about the 2 weeks. And we came here and to see is our house is uh, now, right or not, my family was weeping what's happened because we have nothing, the source of income. Now, what will we do? Where we have to live? Uh, when I came here, I saw this little guy, four years old, Mafuz, laying baking in the sun. And his mom's trying to cool him because he's got a fever and he's got an IV and antibiotics. And she's pouring flood water on him. And the water would, would evaporate off his chest and just leave the dirt of the flood water. In Dehradun Panah here in the Punjab, the local hospital is still underwater. All the things, all the materials, all the medicines, all the uh, equipments uh, are destroyed. We have nothing. We have nothing to run out of our hospital. So this is where women would come to give birth. And now these, uh, these beds can't use them anymore. In our hospital, was, this was water was uh, 8 to 10 feet. And uh, I sent our people uh, to the safe side. But the uh, hospitals, uh, medicines, instrument, and other things we cannot save. All the equipment has been wiped out. There's no staff here. There's no facilities available. So the need for our hospital that we set up in this town of over 40,000 people is absolutely immense. Global Medic has come in, deployed one of our Canadian inflatable field hospitals, and this 20-bed facility currently is the only air-conditioned facility where we can treat people with fevers. Uh, the majority of patients coming in come in with vomiting and diarrhea. There are a lot of children here, uh, usually uh, it's double the adult uh, population rate. Uh, a lot of them are quite pale, you see the sunken eyes, very dry, uh, dry mucous membranes, uh, very, very thin. Uh, we see a lot of uh, patients come in with fever, um, also malaria uh, has increased as well. Uh, we have an outpatient emergency, uh, it's a walk-in. Uh, patients uh, come in, are assessed by uh, the nurse and the physician and are treated. The more critical patients are taken into, uh, into this hospital uh, behind me and are assessed uh, and observed continually by uh, two nurses. And uh, will be kept there until they're more stable and able to, uh, to go home after. And we're concerned because 35% of our patients, about 340 yesterday, were treated for diarrhea. So we're really worried about waterborne diseases being outbreaking in this area. So that means that the race against time for us to get people clean water is critical right now. What we did was we actually had some plumbers come in, set up a pump on a bore well, and we uh, tapped into that source water, which we're using to purify for the Nomad. Nomad's a great source of clean drinking water as it can be set up in minutes and it'll give out 100 litres per minute. We're in the middle of town and we'll take their dirty water right into our dirty tank here. We'll just fill it up and from that hose it'll go into our pump and push it right through our machine and we'll clean the water. We've got two tanks here, the 4,000 litres of water that's available and we'll just keep filling them all day long and the lineup just keeps uh, growing during the day and we'll uh, keep giving them water as long as they want it uh, right till nighttime. You might think by uh, looking at this water that this water is drinkable but uh, you can't see anything by the naked eye and uh, I'll show you when I change one of the filters of uh, how dirty this water actually is. That was pure white as well. That's just after one week of use. This town's 40,000 people normally. It swelled up to 90,000 when the floods came in and wiped out many villages. 
it's, it's over a million homes that have been destroyed. There's 20 million people affected. That's six times the amount of people that were affected in the 80. Six times. It's unbelievable. It's unfathomable. The difference here is the floodwaters in Punjab have stayed, which means you've got lots of water, low-lying areas, tons of mosquitoes. People cannot go back to their homes, so they're stuck living at the side of the road. No shelter, no food, no water. That's a recipe for disaster. Here, in the countryside, you have pockets of two families, another two families one kilometer away. So that's the main challenge. We've hired a truck uh, that can hold a uh, container that will hold about 4,000 liters of water. And uh, we'll fill it up here with the uh, clean water from the Nomad. Uh, we'll send containers and the truck out to the uh, uh, villages uh, where the people can't come to us. Right now we have uh, eight tracker units working in the area. So, we provide, so we're providing water to about 20,000 people, clean drinking water every day. What we're doing, we're trying to uh, install the trackers on a mosque sites because they have a speakers they can announce people that they have a clean drinking water there's a lot of people coming to the sites probably five six times a day we are training local people how to use the trackers how to maintain them and we just leave the area the unit stays with them and they with the proper care with the proper maintenance they can run the unit for independently time how this works is there's 10 tablets in each strip. The aqua taps we provide to people over here, it has two reasons. To clean the water and to also clean the container. Because the containers then bring it for the sites to get a clean drink of water is contaminated because they were using dirty water before they, we provide them with the unit. So the main reason for the aqua tap is to clean the water and to clean the container. So the next time they're going to bring that container to our site, they're going to get a clean container and a clean water at the same time. They don't have to use the aqua taps anymore. The water issue is very key and it needs to go hand in hand with the medication and the medical care. There's still so many areas which need to be reached. Canadian emergency service workers have been working around the clock side by side with local teams to provide aid to those in need. Although the situation seems impossible to comprehend, it is the resilience of the Pakistani people and the dedication of Canadian volunteers that is providing hope daily to so many in need. I think, and I thanks for the global medics and Islamic helps because they have helped us. The feelings which I feel for myself because I have nothing. The also the other persons have the same feeling because they have nothing. So I feel their pain. So I want to help them with you people. Uh, we, we, we think that the people came from Canada to help us. Why we, why we not help them to help the people? I'm very, very thankful to the Global Medic.